Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Insurmountable. I bet. Actually, I bet you're wondering how I got here. I, is that. Did I say that last time? Because uh, it actually makes a little bit more sense on this one. Oh, my goodness. We are at the top of the mountain. We did summit. However, the mountain claims us until we go back down to the uh, to the bottom we did it but now we got to do it in reverse if we don't get back down we don't get back home to our families so wow we put ourselves in a bad spot <laughs> that is that cannot be understated how much we've screwed ourselves over in this situation um our energy is terrible we do have a use of a tent that we can do still uh but we're gonna want to oh boy we're gonna probably want to uh, to use it like immediately because otherwise I don't know how I don't know how to get down <laughs> I think that we are really really very Omega screwed uh, but we'll see what we can do we can get here before oh we can actually get all the way there without uh, ha having to hit zero zero energy we uh the, the two key things that we're gonna have to worry about here and by that i mean basically the two literally the only two things we have to worry about right here with our stuff is going to be our oxygen and it is going to be our uh our energy both of which are are, are rough rough for sure uh i guess we'll just go ahead and use our tent right now Boy, we're losing so much oxygen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, what are we going to do? Just not? <laughs> use tent? Absolutely, I'm going to use the tent. I don't care about nighttime causing issues with coldness. Oh, boy. All right. Down we shall go. There's no good way of doing this. We're not even, like, really going to our goal. How, how do... Oh, my God. Yeah, we're, like, really not going to our goal. But, hold on. When do we run out of energy? Or oxygen? Okay. All right. Just cross the fingers, basically. We are we are at the whims of the mountain, and that is for sure. We need to find another cave, and we need to get down fast. Sanity or warmth are the exact two things we don't need. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, we really, really did not need those. Okay, so if we click there, it does, it does say we can get down there. Um... It's not good. It's not looking good. There is, uh, it's impossible to see anything here. I think we are, I think we are a cooked goose here. Just immediately. <laughs> immediately we are going to be entering this episode and dying. I didn't think that I would die this quickly though. So if we go down this way, we hit that energy penalty. If we go down this way, we hit the energy penalty anyways. We just got to do it. There's no, no, nothing to do but but go for it. I don't know exactly how, uh, how long it's going to take for us to just straight up die from this. Uh-oh. You feel weak and exhausted. You doubt whether you can continue walking. I sit down and rest. You rest for a while. Slightly invigorated. You continue on your way. So we lose time. We do lose a little bit of oxygen. We lose quite a bit of heat. But, like, I don't care about that. So that, that actually turned out to be very beneficial for us. Um, man, I can't wait until... Uh, I can... So is that really not going to lose us energy? Or uh, oxygen? It is. It is. Lose us a lot. Okay. Down. We go. Hopefully we can get this day to pass 
relatively soon here. We're almost there. I mean, when we run out of oxygen, one would think that we'd just uh, die. <laughs> die then? If we could find a cave. Like, we need to get down. We need to get down fast, and we need to find a cave. Those things are just the truth. And right now, it is impossible to see anything. Oh, God. We're going to lose all of our energy again by going here. But what else are we going to do? There's a cave. How do we? Oh, boy. Oh, my God. It's, it's impossible to see in this blizzard. It's going to go away soon, though. I feel like we have to do this. It's not great, but we have to do it. That is also not great. So it looks like it's going to take roughly the same energy whether or not we go that way. Oh, that's lying to me. Yeah, I was going to say, that that's a lie. It's not actually. Oh, boy. At least we are probably going to die in a cave. We also, it might turn into daytime. Well, not yet. Yeah. I mean, what are we going to do? We don't have a tent. We can get our body tent back. I'm not too worried about that, though. All we can do, man, all we can do is just click and hope we don't literally just die here. We're not... Uh-oh. You're becoming inattentive. You stop watching for a brief moment. You slide down a steep slope. With your last strength, you manage to pull yourself up. You are injured, but full of adrenaline. Okay. Well, with that newfound event, maybe... Maybe we can skip this? The oxygen is such a problem. Wow, we could apparently make it all the way there. All right. Let's hope we just don't need oxygen as much as uh, I feel like humans need oxygen. <laughs> Usually when you would think, yeah, when my oxygen reaches zero, that'd be a problem. <laughs> okay. Let's 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 meet in the middle there. We gain extra energy just by sleeping. Just in general there. Alright. We can't wait any more time. We have to we have to go. We're, we're about to literally hit zero here. So we'll see. I I feel like, I mean, it can't be the same as energy where when we hit zero, we just get like... Uh-oh. Here it is. This is where it happens. Oh, man. So, so what I think is probably going to happen is there's like a chance for an event to show up. You suddenly see a dark figure standing next to you. It warns you in a quite friendly voice that a rock fall is about to occur. Okay. After a few seconds, the boulder comes crashing down from above. You are able to find cover. A dark figure has vanished. That's fine. I don't care about that. Are we going delusional because of... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this is a... Oh, this is hell. Oh, it's not even that far away. Okay, snow beneath your feet gives away. You fall, but not far. You land. I don't, I don't care about heat going away. That's not that big of a deal. Wait, did we enter? The, did we leave the death zone? Oh, my God. Stinging, unbearable pain in your temples. How long can you keep going at these heights? Not very long at all. Not very long at all. Oh, boy. What's that? Okay, there's another event. Come on. You lean against a rock face. A distant melody reaches your ear, soft and tender and beautiful. You close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply. Oh, stop it. Stop it. You keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Could it yet be, be yet another legacy of the occupiers? Or maybe its origins are mysterious. Whatever it is, it makes you smile. No, it doesn't. I'm mad. We are going to just keel over and die. Uh, 
You take in the view. Uh oh. And over. <laughs> Overcome with elation, mountains are without a doubt the most beautiful structure on earth, and then no man-made edifice, however magnificent it may be, can compete. You feel good better than ever. The beauty of the mountain gives you strength. Oh no. You bolt forth like a young yak, but you notice that something isn't right. Your legs are like rubber, your arms are no longer under your control, you drop down, unable to move on, never before have you felt so helpless. You close your eyes, breathing calmly and evenly. Slowly, you regain control of your body and pick yourself up. It is... It is looking wretched. We're getting hit with uh, these negative events left, right, and center. Obviously, like, as we should. It's so close! It's so close! And yet... So far... We literally can't even do it. You spot a deer stand between two skeletal trees just ahead of you as you consider walking over to the deer stand to search it for provisions you hear a rumbling it sounds like an avalanche you see the snow cloud on the horizon it's heading straight for you i continue my journey i mean is that a cave that's a cave oh my god we could have gone there i mean how could we we literally couldn't have seen it though all right do we lose? I wonder if we lose oxygen still or not. Have we? Are we still in the? No, I think. I think we might be out of the death zone. But we still have zero oxygen. All right. What do we do? It's a good call even if we if we can make it is it even a good call? Probably not. I'm doing it. I think we're I think we're beefing it. I think we are going to beef it. As soon as this energy hits 0, I feel like we're We've entered uh, guaranteed death zone, basically. You are laboriously pulling yourself up to a rock face when you feel a pang of pain in your chest. Quickly, you grip into onto a protruding rock. The pain continues to travel, dull, burning, first in your arms, then in your throat and upper abdomen. Your strength is running out. You can't stay here. Cold sweat beads on your forehead. Your reserves are almost exhausted. Darn right they are. Are we just going to straight up die, or is it just going to be... Our oxygen's coming back. We had to, we left the death zone. If we can make it to this cave, there's a chance. Oh my god, if we can make it to this cave, there is actually a chance. I... It... Oh, as you painstakingly struggle forward, you're struck by a strange unease. Sure, you're exhausted. It's tempting to lie down right here and sleep, but your unease grows stronger with every step you take. Your doubts that you ever will reach your goal grow. I'm gonna listen to my body. Oh, thank you. Close your eyes. Your body is not a machine, but a perfect synergy of muscles and tendons. Not invincible, but strong, strong and resilient. But your mind also needs to work and be one with the flesh. You visualize your blood flowing through your veins, cells dying and renewing themselves in an internal cycle. You draw strength from this. Oh. My God. Oh, wait, we're losing oxygen. There we go. Okay. Oh, I mean, oxygen shouldn't be a problem anymore now. We should be out of the place where it would have been a problem. So now we just need to find our way over. Oh, my God. Is there a way we can go that is less dangerous okay well that's dangerous regardless is it just dangerous because of the type of terrain it is yeah all right well short of going literally all the way up and around it's not seeming like that's going to be too oh, too big of a deal 
Is there a cave? There's that cave all the way up there. There's a cave here. But that's not particularly any easier. Do we really, do we just do it? Do we just try and send it? And hope that the dangerous events don't hit us too hard? We go to the cave. There's actually not a lot of danger on the way there. And then we can go up and around this way. I think that's the path. There's less hazardous events. He does use more energy. But that's not that big of a deal because we are going to get energy back as soon as we get there. I cannot believe. Cannot believe we have a chance. It was, it was like the most Disney movie situation up there. Like, coming right back down, like, oh, but then I, my faith in myself and the mountain is what's going to keep me going. Oh, baby. All right. And then we can wait. We can do both of these. I'm not too worried about the heat. Oop, I'm a little bit more worried about the heat, I guess. Okay, so we can't climb up around there. We're going to be going up here to uh, climb down anyways, I think. Should we? Should we care? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, boy. It really does just come down to my literal, my actual HP here. Oh, no. Okay, when climbing next to a flat crevice, you lose your footing and start sliding down. After a few feet... Wait, after a few feet, you manage to catch yourself. We lose a lot of heat. Uh, that's fine. We actually have a, we have a thermos. You discover the remains of a mountaineer. Uh, his skin is gray and cold. I, you know, I, I can go. For, I can do it. Oxygen mask. Well, a little late for that. Thank you very much. Okay, backpack. Drink the hot tea. All is well, if you ask me. Okay, so we can. These are hazardous too. Oh. I mean, I don't know if we have much of a choice. I don't know if we really have much of a choice here. I think we just have to do it. I mean, we, we, can, we can rechart our path if we get hit by an event. We really should have taken that one active, active ability. Oh, we should have, really should have. So far, so fine. Nope. Okay. We can attempt the jump. There's a chance we would hurt ourselves. And again, like our lose condition right now, our lose condition is our HP. So, no. <laughs> Basically. We we are going to do it. Boy, howdy. Who thought that this was going to happen? Not me. Oh. I mean, but it shouldn't matter. Oh my God! You make it to camp and sheltered in a sheltered depression in the rock. Oh my goodness! The climb took more out of you than you originally thought. You will need to rest longer than usual to recover. What good would it do to find the Holy Grail of power generation if you didn't survive the expedition to tell anyone about it? Fair enough. We did it! Get wrecked, Mountain One! Eh. You're struggling to keep going. So, is this something that we get at the end of this mountain regardless? Plus 10%, I mean, that would make it more difficult. Plus 10% energy cost on all terrain, plus 20% time cost. Oh, on all terrain. Um... 
time nine? Was that nine full days, probably? Let's be let's begin the next mountain. Oh my god, we got three conditions now. Okay, so what did we have the biggest problem with? Energy. We also don't have another tent. Are we gonna get another tent? Probably not. Uh, snowy terrain provides better grip. Many discoveries. The nights are warmer than usual. That doesn't... Let's just... We'll cancel out this one. Uh, very heavy storms. Very rough terrain. I feel like we go with Route 1 because... Uh, I'm, I'm not too worried about the sanity right now. And better grip, I would imagine, helps us with our energy. You stand in front of the massive rock formation lost in a daydream. You're accepting the Nobel Prize. As you launch your acceptance speech, the hall resounds with the audience's laughter. You try and make yourself heard above the din. But the laughter gets louder and louder until all it all becomes a roll of thunder. The mountain jolts you back to reality. You'll show these skeptics and you'll revolutionize the world while you're at it. But without a tent, I am so screwed. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to hit like all of the caves that we can find on the way back. How long, how long does that take? It's gonna take an hour fifteen. It's probably worth it. You know what? Let's do this too. Okay. Off I go, then. Oh, my God. It's so much further. It's so much further than it was. We're going to need to make sure we collect supplies. I think this is a spot where we can maybe maybe do that. Uh, health or warmth? Absolutely we want health, because I did not realize that we were not going to get all the way healed back up. There's a little bit of residual. I think it did heal us up a little bit. Okay. So that there, there's a cave if we want it already. In a deep crevice in the rock, hidden behind some shrubbery, you find a fur pouch. It looks like it might have belonged to a hunter. You're in luck. It contains... <gasps> oh! My God! A full freaking tent! Flat terrain experts. More experience in events during the night. Reduce sanity loss in events. Or absolutely, we are going to be going with reduced reduced cost of moving on all terrains. Um, there's no reason not to sleep there. Right? What would we lose? In theory, we would lose... We would normally lose heat. But since we are so well equipped and we're not near the top of the summit, that's not really a problem. Step into the darkness. You find an object in the ground that feels unusual. An old but well-preserved chest is behind the ledge. You open it and find some herbs. Sanity, but minus one health. Hmm. Moon herb. 23 sanity, minus one health. It's going to be good to have that regardless. So yeah, the only thing we lose is time. So if we don't really want to spend too much time out at night, that would be the problem. But this is precisely why I thought that it'd be a good idea to go for uh, that event there. All right, so there's, uh, there's a cave over there. How long would it take to... How long would it take to get there? What, kind of, what would it look like? I don't believe you. Yes, that's more realistic. And even that, that's not too bad. So you're telling me it's going to get start getting cold, like, right there. Or it's going to bl be a blizzard? No? Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's go for it. I'm going to get ready to, uh, to, to stop and readjust my path if any of it looks suboptimal for energy. That looks right. Alright, so is it actually cold here? I thought we were supposed to reach some kind of cold threshold, but I guess we are just too darn effective. The, 
that early, uh, yeah, this looks fine. That early, um, early hat <laughs> is really good. Also, the fact that we do get to keep, ooh, an intact, an intact tent. Nobody in sight. Embers in the fire pit are still glowing. Obviously being, being used by someone. It could contain valuable items. Hey! Uh, a tent with an unusual symbol catches your eye. You plunder it for valuable equipment. I am a scumbag. Minus energy cost on all terrain. Okay. So, having the option to swap into that is going to be great. We're probably going to have... Uh, we're probably going to face some consequences for this, aren't we? Uh, so, if we go that... That way, that's a lot of energy. Oh, we... Oh. It's fine. I'm fine with using up quite a bit of energy. Again, since uh, heat is not an issue, what's the big thing that we're worried about here? Uh, sanity is the big thing that could really become a problem down here. And I'm not too worried about it right now, especially since we do have refocus. If we really want to use it, we can use it every... Uh, it's every two days, though. Recover sanity or energy. Oh. I'm actually going to go for sanity since we are, are going to go make our way to this cave here. Feels like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to, <laughs> to change that up otherwise. Follow the light. It's nothing. Just a bunch of fireflies. Just a box. Okay. So basically, do we want to... Uh, we want to sleep a little bit into the night. I guess that's the, that is the worry there. But as long as we don't uh, cross the cold threshold, the threshold of cold, then I think we'll be okay. Okay, I think that's better. What are you doing? Oh, you have to you have to go up on that one. All right, we could use our master climber, but I think I am gonna. It's since it has a twenty four hour cooldown, it's not too uh oh, too big of a deal. Lying on the ground are two dead mountaineers. Looks like they haven't been here for long. You recognize the symbol on their clothing. It's the same one as the uh, the tent that you plundered. Well, at least it's not gonna bite me in the butt. <laughs> I mean, they're not gonna use it. So, thanks, I guess. I don't know what to say. Oh my god. Climb over... Wait, crates filled with dynamite are stacked in a small cave. Behind the crates, you can just make out a few torches. Ooh, now those would be useful. Uh, carefully move the crates out of the way. We lose a lot of heat or climb over the crates. I'm gonna... I'm gonna not risk blowing up dynamite. You, you move a crate after crate out of the way until you create a narrow corridor leading up to the torches. You quickly stow them in your pack and move on. Increase the light radius. So that is, I think we can use it to see better at night, but also I think we can use it in an event to get a better outcome for some situations. Ooh. Plus two HP, plus four time. Lose some oxygen to gain energy. This is really good for down here. Lose significantly fewer health in events. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, the summit is where we're going to have our biggest problems. Like, obviously. So... I think that covering our losses at the end, like, because when we're up near the top, we're not going to want to use our active abilities that spend time very much. Oof. All right, it's getting, getting a little sketchier for sure. Uh, okay, so I see a cave there. How long is that going to take? It's going to take three hours, 28 minutes. 
Okay, so I'll tell you what. We're going to move here. And then we use this to go up here. Oh, boy. Please don't bite me in the butt today. It's very tough to see in the blizzard. Shaka, shaka. Surprising sentence. Surprising. You discover a chest that's almost completely buried in snow. Minus 22 energy. Oh, fine. You better be good. Canned food. Recovers 33 energy. Okay. That is really nice. First of all, it's obviously like a net gain. Like, so it's already good. Um, Where's the next cave? Because this is pretty out of the way. This is like, this is like really out of the way. Oof. Any problem with doing this? Yeah, it brings us closer to nighttime, I guess. I'm not so sure that this is a good idea. Whoop. Oh, 24 hours of 50% increased energy cost on all terrains. Oh my god. All right. Spends a little bit of extra time. That does not help us at all right now when it's so dark like or so uh so rough like that. Okay, well, I think now more than ever it act like even though that it's gonna be awful. Oh god, it's gonna be so awful to get over there. We need to go to the cave so that we can sleep, so that we can pass a lot of time. I guess we could. I keep on forgetting that we can just sleep by ourselves, just like on the ground. I mean. I mean, yeah, there, there's a reason I wasn't doing that, you know, <laughs> there's a reason it is a, it is a last case scenario. Step into, oh shoot. I, 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 I moved too quickly there. All right. We obviously like for so many reasons, we want to spend all of that time there. How long is this? Uh, okay. Oh, uh, this scar out. Eight more hours of this. Oof. It's down there. There's an event down there. Ooh, there's a cave over there. Whoa! Okay. Uh, yeah, it's super tough to see. We could use the torch. I'm just going to... I'm just going to be clicking. Oh my god, that's... It must be it. A ridiculously steep drop. It's also because we have the eight hours of penalty. I'm trying to see if there's... What other kind of path do we have? Yeah, this is really, like... You can tell this was on purpose. Like, them wanting to, to make it very challenging to uh, see and traverse. 40? Okay, so... How long does that take? That takes 17 minutes. In 43 minutes, we can pass another... Uh, if we could just, like, get ourselves to an okay spot. Let's get down here. Maybe we can just pass plenty of time, you know? Oh, my God. No! You hear a couple of blue stones rolling down the mountain. One of them hits you in the torso. Ugh. Okay. Okay. What does this look like? terrible I figured as much I just wanted to make I just wanted to have the option so we have this for another three hours okay it's it's bad no matter what this is not this is not the way. I just see there's so many events. If I could, if I could get up there easily. Is there a character with a jetpack? 
Oh, and the fact that we can't get up. Wait, can we really not get up there from here? We can't. This is a, this is untraversable. We would have to go all the way. Oh, my goodness. It's bad all the way down. All right. Well, we'll just move on. We have it. We have the tent. We have the, the I was going to say, the cat food. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a canned food. Not cat food, canned food. Where did we start? We, we have not gotten up too far yet. Understandably so. Oh, boy. That's that little section right there is so nice. I feel like I feel like we're gonna see a cave. The thing is, what's so clever is the fact like that the camera being difficult. Like I know that that's one of the things they said they're gonna work on. It kind of it does help, you know. Stay longer and head inside the hut. And oh, wait, on a narrow path between the abyss and the rock wall, you reach a hut. The door has been lifted off its hinges, and the wood blackened by soot tells you that there must have been a fire in the dwelling. What happened? A lightning strike, perhaps? Ooh, or an accident. Open fires can be very dangerous. You sense that you won't be able to solve this puzzle. Those who have the answers are gone or dead. Just as you are leaving, you discover some provisions in a recess in the rocks. At least this makes your little excursion worthwhile. That is really nice. Having oxygen tank. We saw how important that is. What does that take? Is that That's all that takes? Wow. Our, uh, okay, yeah, because our penalty is gone. And this is a nice little uh, dinky climb by comparison. I feel like there might be a cave over there that I'm just not able to see. Discover a large leather saddlebag lying on the ground right next to it. You discover faded hoof prints. You find an intact tent in the saddlebag. Let's go. Okay, well, we're going to have to Diablo some of this stuff here. Uh, we can't, like... <laughs> We can't store this stuff. What is this section right here? But we, we're not going to have a whole lot of spaces. So, like, our... our we're, we're getting so much luckier uh, than we were before. What does that take? Okay. So, we can't traverse there. Oh, man. Um... Not seeing a cave there. I thought there was going to be one, like, right here. Because they're always tucked behind. What does that take? I mean, we can just start using our... Okay, well, let, let, you know what we should try? I know this, is, this isn't this is even the summit, but, like, what what is the ideal path? All right, it wants us to head up there. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Okay. So, let's head there. As uh as rough as it seems, I guess it's the thing to do. Oh boy. Unless unless I feel like this is the better way to go. Uh, are, should we... We take a little bit more risks? I'm not gonna... No. I'm not gonna risk HP. I don't want to risk... Because, the yes, this is terrible for our energy. Oof. The stone rises vertically out of the earth, dark and sooty, as if it's been on fire. Someone put it there. As you take a closer look, you notice an inscription chiseled in the stone. You cannot decipher it. But one thing is clear. You are standing on a grave. I'll examine the grave. The rock, uh, ground is rock hard, but the upper layers can be scraped off. Soon your hands are touching a round object. You are startled. A charred skull. It's small, like that of a child. But you don't find any more bones, but you come across a few provisions. Who is... I guess it must have been a, uh, an indigenous person, I would assume. 
Otherwise, who the hell's taking their kid uh, climbing up a, this freaking mountain? Oh my god. But yeah, I think that this is the... Oh, we... No, we can't go to the left, because you can't go on that tree spot. Alright. Oh, we can't dig out the chest. We should have done the energy first, but yeah, we have so many tents, and they are going to take up so much space that I think it'll be in a... in our best interest to actually start to use them. To make sure we'd, like, try and use them to take these more risky energy, uh... energy-focused situations. Uh... What is it? Uh, body temperature loss has increased. We could. How bad is this? It's not that bad. But then we would have to go up that way, which is pretty bad. I'm going to go here. I'm going to save my Master Climber because it lasts for three hours, and we don't know. This event might be something where we have to pass time. And I don't want to... I don't want to effectively, like, waste it. You reach a small plateau where steep rock walls provide natural protection from the icy wind. A good place to take a break. A long extinguished fire suggests you're not the first to rest here. Other mountaineers have sat here before you to recover from their exertions. You wonder who they were or what they were doing here. Let's take a look around. In a gap between two rocks, you find some empty cans of beans. The expiration date is listed as 50 years ago. Probably a group of mountaineers, judging by the number of cans. Curious, unfortunately, you don't find anything of use. So apparently we should have just, uh, should have just left. All right. We got to take this one big risk to get to the next section of Plateau. Oh, it's okay. I, I would, at this current point with the current resources I have access to, too, with the uh, the can of food and the double tents, I would uh, I would take an energy penalty over an HP pen penalty any day right now. Really, that's the quicker way, huh? Boop, 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 boop. Apparently, it is. That doesn't mean we have to go. It doesn't mean it's like a lot quicker. And there is a there's a, a a cave there. Let's go this way. It's we have this uh this movement penalty for another twenty four hours. Oh my god, for another twenty four hours. So I think that this might be a good idea. Anyways, we'll we'll certainly want to probably use another one of our tents. You discover some wild berries on a bush that are bright in color, orange almost. You hesitate. They could be poisonous. Yet a little sustenance would do you a world of good. Try one of the berries. Slightly tart and fresh, but fresh and tasty. You find them replenishing your energy and strengthening you for the long journey ahead of you. You're grateful that nature challenges you, yet also takes care of you. Oh, I wish I would have eaten a million. I feel like that was a, probably a coin flip, though. If I were to take a, a shot in the dark, I'm guessing. Actually, hold on. I'm going to put on the gloves. I don't want to min-max like every single uh, every single movement here, but this just feels like it makes sense. Like, while, while this is going on, you hear voices coming from behind a rock face. The soothing smell of fried food hits your nostrils. You carefully peek around the corner. Some indigenous people are sitting around a campfire, passing around a jug. The brew must pack a punch. Either each mouthful makes the strangest grimace in pain. You make your presence known as they wave you over. They want you to join them. Okay. You open your eyes. You feel a stabbing pain in your temple. Your mouth feels fuzzy. What happened? Where did the others go? What? There's no sight of anything except for the extinguished campfire behind, beside you. Uh, you. They just left you here. How stupid of you to let yourself get so drunk. But at least they didn't slit your throat. Oh. This is a fine outcome, truthfully. <laughs> truthfully, truthfully. Okay. Increased oxygen gain per hour. Uh, Could be good near the top. Spend more time moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. Uh, canned food and oxygen bottles are more effective.
Hmm. Sure. Sort by group. Wow, we're getting we're getting all kinds of stuff there. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. How long do we have this debuff for? Another 14 hours. Oops. That was terrible. That was really really poorly done there. I think that we ought to I mean, can we make it there? We can. I think it's in our best interest to use our tent a second time here. Sleep through the night. Wait. Our energy's full? No, our energy's full. Huh. All right. I just wanted I wanted the time to pass. I, I did not realize my energy was so, so darn good. That's because, oh, because we got 24 or whatever. Something on the ground in front of you. Reach down to find a can of beans that expired 50 years ago, just like the ones you found in the gap between the rocks on the little plateau. This one is still closed. <laughs> they smell all right, despite the fact that they're long past expiration date. You take a spoonful, then another. Your stomach starts to rumble. You decide to risk one more bite. You find your gut. You feel your guts cramping up. You ditch the can and continue on your journey. Oh, jeez. I was like, they're beans. They're beans. Beans are fine. 50 years. Who cares? Weak stomach. All right. Uh, yeah. There is no good way up here, eh? No, there is not. Is there any good way up here? Barely. Hmm. Alright. We hit it. We hit it. We might want to um, warm up beforehand. This is, this is sketchy. Okay, what does it look like to do that? Yeah, that's fine. Sure. NBD, NBD. Oh, sanity or warmth. Oh, we actually are starting to have a little bit of a problem with our sanity. Um, as soon as this blizzard is over, because tomorrow's a storm, which is an energy problem. As soon as this is over, we actually will probably start regaining our warmth. Um... It's, here's the thing. If we hit zero warmth on this tile, it actually is not that big of a deal. Because I can't remember if we're going to gain or lose warmth. Follow the lights. Okay, just get some XP. Okay, so yeah, that's what I thought. I couldn't, I couldn't remember if, in this location, if we would gain or lose body temp. Energy cost of climbing is increased. Uh, but are we... Yeah, we are gaining... Actively gaining... Heat. Even though it certainly does not look like we should be. Let's hit this. It's going to be tough to see. Any events? Anything? Anything? How bad is it to go all the way over there? Oh! Oh! Surprisingly decent, but should we? All right. I mean, it wants me to just go straight shot. There's a cave over there. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. That ain't good. Uh huh. Let's just head here for now. 
We could wait. Recover some sanity. There is an all too familiar smell of ethanol and herbs in the air. You listen, snoring sounds. You approach the source of the sound. You hear three drinking buddies lie sheltered in a hollow, sleeping off their intoxication. Wake them and share a round of my own drink. I can't. Can I? It's got to be, like, whatever it is, it's got to be good, right? Tomorrow is a clear day. The men's eyes light up as you offer them a tea. They taste and add a shot of their homebrew. Silently, you raise your cups and warm bodies from the inside. Nothing beats the good old, a good old tipple. As a, as you part, the locals offer you a gift. Holy moly. Yeah. Let's go. Here, I mean, uh, let's, let's. Yes. All right. That was incredibly worth it. Those guys rock. All right, so now we are we're going to be gaining that that was super worth it. Super worth it. We basically uh traded a one-time use heat thing for something that is not only going to last all the way up to the to the top and the bottom of this mountain, but all the way to the top and the bottom of the next mountain too. Speaking of that is going to be it for today here. I kind of want to go end in the cave even though it makes no sense, no freaking sense at all. Uh, oh man, that ain't great. Uh, could we? Is it in the, is it in the morning? Because just... if we do this, do we still? Yeah. All right. Yep. Still a problem. That was a bad idea. All right. Well, we'll face the repercussions of our bad idea tomorrow on Insurmountable. So make sure. You are subscribed. Make sure you hit the like button and you comment if you want this series to stick around. Likes and comments are genuinely really important ways to actually have an effect on the algorithm uh, and have these videos get seen by people who might not see it otherwise. So alas, that is that. That is going to do it for today. Make sure you subscribe as mentioned because I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. If this is the general kind of game you are into, you like this game, I think I have a worthy subscription. I can show you all kinds of cool new games. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.